I'm not sure how I feel about all of these advanced techniques that Mario Kart 8 has to offer. On the one hand, they make the game more complex and give it a higher skill ceiling, which certainly makes the gameplay more interesting to play. On the other hand, they make the game more complex and give it a higher skill ceiling, which some people may feel overcomplicates the game. Just look at these world record holders, there's no time to just drive straight and enjoy the track, they're always doing these demon slide things. What's a demon slide you say? I'm so glad you asked. Now excuse me as I don't look as pro as the world record holders here, but from my understanding, a demon slide is performed after a boost has ended, be it from a super mini turbo or a mushroom. The move entails jumping, then going into a slide as you land, then quickly jumping again and sliding in the opposite direction. You change directions for the same reason you alternate directions when fire hopping, to maintain a straight line. There are times when holding the same direction for two hops is applicable. The reason this technique is done is essentially the same as fire hopping. Jumping maintains some speed from the boost. Now I'm going to try and explain the button presses to do this as simple as I can. First we jump with R. Now there's two ways to do this, you can either hold down R until you hit the ground to initiate a slide, or you can press R to jump, then after pressing you can then proceed to hold down R. I'm doing the latter option here because it helps me keep the rhythm of the demon slide. Back to while in the air, you are able to hit the direction you want to slide in at any point while in the air, but from my understanding, it's better to wait until just before you hit the ground before pressing any direction, because this will make you turn less and help you keep a straighter line. After pressing a direction, you must be holding R as you hit the ground. As soon as you land, hit or hold R again to jump back into the air to repeat the process. Gee, that was a paragraph and a half. If you can't do it at first, don't worry, it takes a bit of practice to get down. The next technique I have here is a little trick involving the bounce pads found in DK Jungle, Cloudtop Cruise and Melody Motorway. What you want to do is slide off a ramp leading to a bounce pad. Just before you hit it, let go of your slide to initiate a mini turbo, then proceed to trick off the bounce pad. You'll fly much further than you normally would if you perform this technique. Let's compare. This is taking the bounce pad normally. This is sliding onto a bounce pad without the mini turbo. And this is the trick, aka mini turboing onto the bounce pad. As you can see, you go much further just by doing this technique. Hmm, does this technique have a name? Meh, let's call it the bounce boost. This next technique I probably should have included in the previous video, because there isn't anything super advanced advanced about it, but it's still just as important as the rest of the techniques here. So not really important at all. If you slide before going over a ramp, you'll not only maintain the mini turbo charge from before the ramp, but you'll also gain extra mini turbo charge from the airtime. Look at this here, I have a super mini turbo ready to go in no time. That's about all there is to this one. It might not be practical everywhere, but it's still pretty fun to try it out in stupid places. Speaking of sliding over ramps, well, I was debating over whether to talk about this one or not, because it's just so situational, but I may as well cover all bases, right? If you slide and go off a boost ramp at just the right spot, you won't go as high as the jump would normally take you. This is especially useful in Warrior Stadium here, as airtime in the water is bad, since it makes you go slower than usual. Now hopefully that's every technique I need to talk about. Feel free to tell me in the comments if there's anything I've missed in this and my previous video. You're free to like or dislike all of these techniques, but I for one find that it's always interesting to see the meta evolve. Hey guys, thanks for watching Mario Kart 8 Advanced Advanced Techniques. Ugh, stupid title, right? Anyway, so this video is the launch of the Comet Observatory, which is my second channel, which uh, the point of this channel is to really just separate the version differences in non-LP videos from the actual LP videos. So no Let's Play videos will be on this channel, so if you weren't subscribing to Josh Kell because of that, well, you can subscribe here, don't worry. There no Let's Plays will be on the, this channel, they'll all be on Josh Kell, so anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, and next video will probably be version differences. So uh, hopefully I'll see you there, and uh, thanks for watching again. See ya.